Hey, family, Reverend Russ back with another uh, five minute pivot or less, sometimes a little bit more. Ah, it's a quick thought. Uh, so super excited about uh, you all who are on. Don't forget to like, to comment, to share, to subscribe. I had a real simple thought. Uh, the other day I was running, uh, you all, some of you all know I am uh, super competitive. We're going to talk about that uh, in a minute. Uh, but I am. Uh, was running this week and I was thinking about my pace and I was thinking about uh, the fact that I was trying to finish quicker and then it popped in my head. Well, Russ, you aren't racing anybody. Then I thought about it and said, well, you know what? I'm always racing against me. I'm always pushing against me, whether I'm uh, running outside, whether I'm on my bike, whether uh, I'm jumping in the pool. Now, sometimes, to be honest, when I jump in the pool, I jump in sometimes with some high schoolers uh, who are actually competitive swimmers, uh, and I have to move over two lanes uh, because if I'm in the lane next to them, uh, even though it's not a race, uh, the way my mind works, it is a race. Uh, and I don't need to race against the high schoolers because I will uh, may flat out uh, see Jesus in my lane uh, because I can't keep up. Uh, but but it had me thinking when I was running the other day about race and about pace, about the fact that uh, many of us are moving through life and moving in different ways. And God has us uh, running in different spaces, different races, if you will call them. Uh, but then we have our pace. And shout out uh, to, to my church, uh, my pastor, Pastor uh, Matthew Watley, uh, Kingdom Fellowship, AME Church. Big shout out uh, to them. Uh, uh, pastor Watley for some years now had put, has, has put us on and allowed our staff to dive really deep into uh, gallery strength finders. Big shout out to them. They're not paying me for this, but Gallup, if you want to, you can. Uh, and, and we do that uh, consistently now with staff, with new staff, uh, even with some of our team members. Uh, and, and for me, everybody on the team knows uh, that there are, uh, and I can't go through the whole Gallup thing now, but there are uh, different zones that you're in, different uh, strengths that you have, and these strengths line up in zones. And for Reverend Russ, uh, I don't have any blue. Uh, what is the relational strength? Now, it's hard to believe. I know. I get it. Uh, but I don't. But one of the things that I, I, I excel in is orange, the executor. Uh, and so my, my number one strength is competition. And, and, but I also understand that it's also uh, my number one liability uh, because everything can be a competition. Uh, everything can be a, a race, if you will, that I want to win, but everything is not meant to be one. Uh, every opportunity is not meant for me to conquer. Every uh, circumstance is not meant uh, for me to come out victorious. I hope uh, somebody else is hearing me, me talk to me the way I'm talking uh, to you. Uh, that, that understanding that sometimes you have to really understand the race you're in, but also understand the pace you're in. And when I was running the other day, it made me think about that. It made me think about my gallops. Uh, again, my uh, top one is competition. I threw all my uh, mine out now. So you see all of my uh, top five. And if you want to uh, list your top five in the comments, that's cool. Uh, but, but, but I understand that as a person, as a leader, uh, as a communicator, I have to understand the race I'm in and I'm not in everyone's race. So even though I see people doing things that are super awesome, even though I see people doing things that I admire, everything I can't get into, and then the things that God has allowed me to get into, I also have to recognize my pace. I also have to recognize where I'm supposed to be, not where I want to be, not how I want to line up with other people, but how I have been uniquely designed. There's a scripture that I love and I use all the time, Psalm 139, uh, and it talks about David is saying that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I know this, I know that your works are wonderful because I look at how you've made me, that I have to understand that the way the Lord has made me, I have to be confident about my pace, but I have to be careful about which race I'm in. So what does that mean? Simply put in this quick pivot, I think that many of us need to, if you don't know what your Gallup strengths are, again, Gallup, you, you have, you're not paying me, but you can. I think you, you should do Gallup or some other kind of strength so you can really see how you're wired and where you are. That's going to help you with your pace. And then the other thing is you have to be discerning and understanding which race you should be in, which lane you should be in, which opportunity you should take. Can, can, I, can I tell you, every opportunity might be a good opportunity, but you know it, it's not a God opportunity. It's not the one that God has ordained for you to set and to run through. So really, I only had two quick things that I wanted to say about race and pace. The first thing is that if you're going to enter the race, if you're going to excel in your pace, the first thing you got to do is you have to be honest to you. 
So one of the things that I'm very clear on as Reverend Russ, as Russ, as, as husband Russ, is that I have to be very clear to myself that I know that I'm wired to think everything is a competition. So I have to think through that and see it in that lens and be honest with myself when I catch myself moving too fast. I told you uh, before that when, when I go swim, I have to move over two lanes because I have to make sure uh, that I'm understanding, Russ, this is not your race. Uh, if you get into this, you're going to get hurt. Uh, and so I have to move, but I have to be honest with myself. Second point, last thing before we uh, run out of here is not only do you have to be honest with yourself, you have to be honest with your team and those who are around you. That sometimes people will see stuff in you and they'll call you to a race that's not your race. Sometimes people will see stuff in you and they'll call you to a race that's not your race. That's not the thing that you're supposed to be able to do. And because you know that, even though you can do it, you should not do it. I really, uh, beloved, hope that you all will evaluate your race, evaluate the lanes in which God has have you operating. And I've had this thing about uh, quitting come out a little while ago uh, and understand that God has you in specific races on purpose and that if you're in the wrong race, that means that you're missing the race that God has uniquely ordained you to be in. And then when you're in that race, again, being honest with yourself, but being, being, being honest with your team and your family, and then when you're in that race, understand that you have to watch your pace. You have to watch how God has wired you that because I'm the one on the team that is super uh, competitive. Others are, are competitive as well at the church, uh, but I'm super competitive. So I have to make sure that I temper that. I watch that, but I also watch where other people excel that I don't excel. Listen to this. Uh, one of the things that you learn and we learn through Gallup through strengths is that there are other strengths that I am deficient in and somebody else excels in. And so it would be smart for me uh, to be able to talk with them. It'd be smart for me to be able to add them. It'd be smart for me to be able to help organize some things and then allow them to do their part the same way they allow me to do my part. I really hope that this pivot will help you, but I really hope that you think about your race and you think about your pace and you think about how God can move you forward when you identify those two things really well. Again, thank you again uh, for jumping on the ministry pivot. Thank you again for spending the time watching this uh, wherever you are, wherever uh, you're listening. And don't forget to comment, to like, to, to, to share, and of course, to subscribe, to get notified about this. Please make sure uh, you do those things so that this podcast can be pushed up uh, on the list. And if it blesses you, just go ahead and text somebody uh, so that they can be a part of it as well. And we look forward to seeing you in this year's season of opportunity. All we got to do is pivot toward it. God bless.